I'm Tom Scully and I'm a cyclist for Madison Genesis. Um, I did have one about five years ago now where I had a, a lamp post in Ireland um, and just sort of tore the, the hamstring attachment point off the back of my knee on the shin bone. So oh, that was one where I'd, you just sort of knew you weren't really getting up from that one. Most of them ones in a criterion where you'd, you lose the wheel or you slide out in the corner is you can dust yourself off off and carry on. Yeah, usually the adrenaline just takes over and you feel like ten, the strength of 10 men and you're trying to get back in the race. Yeah, a um, couple of fresh fresh wounds here and a uh, couple on the elbow there and the knee. Uh, one on the shoulder too, the usual sort of contact points when you hit the, hit the ground. It's in a, involved in an incident where I wasn't really expecting to crash and then Next thing I sort of knew was the handlebars had come off the ground like that and then I hit the ground and yeah just the the knee, the elbow, shoulder and the hip at the usual usual points if you can't get your hands out so um, it wasn't cr crazy high speed but we were moving along reasonably quick so crashing it's sort of one of those things that the faster you go on the, the less chance you, get, you know you're going to crash so you don't have time to react, whereas if you're going really slow, you more more chances you put your hand out, and then that's when you break, break your wrist or you break your collarbone. So sometimes the faster the better. Everyone's pushing to the limit, trying to gain that small advantage out of every corner. You know, if you can put a bike length into the next guy through the corner, so you find the limit, and then your wheels might be starting to slip, so that's about the limit. So if you push it any harder, you know, you could lose the wheel and then end up crashing on the tight corners. So it, it happens when you're trying to make those advantages.